Okay, so I'm officially 100% out of ideas. Yep, that's right. I had exactly two ideas and then I did them, so now I'm out again. You know what that means, right? It's brainstorming time. I could do a video on Sonic Spinball, I guess. I could do top 10 Sonic games. No, I already did a top 10 video. Don't want to become one of those top 10 channels. Meh, I'll just make it anyways and call it something else. How about greatest of all time? Sonic Edition. I don't know, feels a bit obvious. Might be stretching it with that one. Eh, whatever, nobody's gonna notice. The music is starting to get on my nerves. I need some better thinking music. Ah, that's better. Now this is a song you can get some thinking done to. Okay, you know what? That music is actually too good for thinking. Let's try the monkey song instead. Alright, try to think of something interesting or unique about Sonic. What is some weird Sonic-related thing? Sonic character... Feet? Like, have you ever seen in the official art how they canonically have these weird blob feet? Like, have you ever thought Big the Cat was wearing boots? I hate to break it to you, but he's actually been wearing sandals this whole time. He just has no defined digits. Here, I'll show you. Let me just do a quick Google search. Sonic the Hedgehog Feet. You know, I, uh, changed my mind. It's not a good idea for a video. That, uh, just wasn't a good idea. You know, in fact, let's just get rid of all of this stuff right here. Let's just go ahead. You know, I'm gonna be honest. Everyone thinks I'm the world's biggest Sonic fan, but the truth is, I was never really that into Sonic. It's always more of a Mario guy myself. Guess you could say I'm just one of those normal people who prefers Mario games. Oh man, you guys actually thought I liked Sonic? It was just a fucking prank, bro. It was just a social experiment. Never even played a Sonic game before. I was just reading that shit off Wikipedia pages. Sonic? Nah. I'm just one of those normal, regular-ass dudes who likes Mario. Mario games even have better slope physics than modern Sonic games. Come on, that's just embarrassing. In fact, if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know what Sonic is. I've just been enunciating words with absolutely zero mental conception of the things I've been saying. I'm on some Chinese room shit. Like, I mean, basically, I've never even heard of Sonic until right now. Like, Sonic? What is that? Sorry, I can't help you. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm just a normal guy who likes Mario a normal amount. Not a total fucking nerd about it or anything. Although, I guess I do know a few cool things about Mario games. Like as a kid, I always thought Super Mario Bros. 1 was hard because it had traditional game over rules. Once you run out of lives, that's it. You're back to the title screen and you have to start over from the beginning. Tough, but that's just how it was back in the day, right? Oh wait, you can just hold A and press start and it'll put you back at the start of the world you got a game over on. Whoops, I guess that's my bad. I guess that's on me for not knowing that even though it's not like they put it in the fucking manual or anything. Did you know that in Super Mario RPG, if you go to overwrite a save file but say no over 10 times before finally saving, Mario can make this sad pose or this angry pose? Did you know that you can punch butterflies in Super Mario 64 for 1-ups? How about this 1-up in Womp's Fortress? 
I mean, come on, everybody knows about that one by now. If you didn't know about that one, then God help you. Do you notice that when diving near the baby penguin, he'll do a little dive too? I just thought that was a cute detail. Did you know that the Pokies in Super Mario World spawn with five segments if you're on a Yoshi, but only two if you're on foot? Uh, yeah, that's right, ladies. I read Super Mario Broth. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. If I wasn't a real Mario fan, then why do I own the Super Mario Bros. movie on Laserdisc? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Did you know that you can kill the sun in Super Mario Bros. 3? Come on, man, that's literally common knowledge. I could stop some random person on the street and they would know about this shit. You do know about the most powerful weapon in Super Mario World, right? I'm talking about Mario's ass. You do know about the hidden 90 degree rotational options in Mario Paint, right? You're not seriously sitting there playing the game without using the right mouse button like some kind of asshole, are you? Holy shit! You just have to click the end in the title to start the staff roll, and when programmer Noriaki Teramoto comes up, hold the right mouse button and press the end again. Now you can right click anywhere on the screen to activate Undo Dog, or in the stamp editor you can right click to sample the pixel color. And the greatest gift of all? Four new rotational options to go along with the old horizontal and vertical flip. What, don't tell me you've been playing Mario Paint all these years without these crucial features. What are you, some kind of idiot? What the fuck is your problem, asshole? Alright, I admit it. You caught me. The whole Mario thing was just an act. Yep, I'm still the same old Sonic nerd I always was. Just can't help but love this franchise. Look, it's not 2007 anymore. I'm tired of people pretending like it's the worst fandom on the internet. The Sonic fanbase has chilled out considerably in the past 10 years. It just bothers me when people act like the entire fandom is just sitting around drawing your name the hedgehog fan art in MS Paint when it's actually got one of the most robust and talented communities I've ever seen. You can clearly see this in the fan game community. Sonic Robo Blast 2 has been in development since 1998 and is still in active development to this day. He started off as a Doom mod and is now running on a modified custom engine to create a fully fleshed out 3D Sonic experience. This fan game even has its own fan game, with an incredible mod called Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart, turning it into a surprisingly fun kart racer, which is so good it actually deserves its own video. And when the 3D games don't live up to fans' expectations, they won't just sit around theory crafting on forums, they'll create elaborate engines to imagine alternate ways the series could play. I mean, it was members of this community who went on to make Sonic Mania a game I consider a genuine masterpiece. In fact, it's so good it actually kind of bums me out a bit. It's like my boy Oscar Wilde said, There are only two tragedies in life. One is not getting what one wants, and the other is getting it. Basically, I got monkey pawed. I got the Sonic game I've been wishing for ever since I was a kid and I first beat Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And don't get me wrong, Sonic Mania is incredible, but now what? I mean, just sit around waiting for Sonic Mania 2, a game which might never even come out? I mean, the fact we even got Mania was a fucking miracle in the first place, so why are we just sitting around expecting a sequel like it's owed to us? Now, I could be wrong about this. God knows I love to be wrong, but with how long it's been since Mania came out, and with Christian Whitehead and co off forming their own studio called Evening Star... Oh, nice chaotic reference, bro. I totally see what you did there. But we don't even know if they're gonna be doing Sonic-related stuff. Whatever they end up doing, Sonic-related or not, I'll definitely be there to check it out. It's like I'll be there to check out the next main series Sonic game, see what it has to offer. I truly believe Sonic has the best fandom out there. It may also, at the same time, be the worst fandom out there. It's just because we're so good, we're even the best at being the worst. All that said, I actually am be putting out a few non-Sonic related videos like I originally said I would. Don't worry, I'm still be making plenty of Sonic content too. It's impossible to run out of things to talk about with this series. If you can't think of something to talk about, trust me, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, I pretty much just made this video so people wouldn't freak out when they saw some non-Sonic related content in their sub feed. Which again, I already explicitly mentioned I was going to be doing, so in a way, this entire video is pointless. 